Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Ankita. I live in Manchester and I make videos about beauty and wellness. So today's video is about sunscreens. Now I use sunscreens throughout the year, but I know in the summer there's a lot more emphasis on sunscreens and a lot of people uh, find it hard to pick something that's going to be non-sticky, that's going to give good protection and something that they want to use every single day. Now when it comes to sunscreens, the number one reason why people don't use them is because they haven't found something which has a nice texture, a nice consistency that does not leave stickiness or a white cast on the skin if you have a sunscreen which you don't enjoy using you're not going to use it every day so when you are looking for a sunscreen there are a couple of things you want to keep in mind the first thing is it must be a broad spectrum sunscreen and this means that it gives you protection from both the UVA and the UVB component of the UV light generally SPF followed by a number is what denotes protection against UVB, B stands for burning and PA double plus, PA triple plus, PA four plus that denotes the protection it gives you against the UVA component where A stands for aging. So you must have a sunscreen which gives you protection against both. The second thing you want is something which feels nice to use okay so this is something i talked about in the beginning of the video you don't want something which is going to leave a sticky cast a white cast because you might have a sunscreen sitting in a drawer somewhere gathering dust and you're not using it because you don't like how it feels on the skin so i have 10 sunscreens here which i'm going to talk about and all of these have a good texture they feel good to use and that's why i'm going to show you the textures and um, maybe this will help you pick the right sunscreen for yourself so I'm going to start with some of the more affordable ones I've got a total of 10 five of these are more on the affordable side and the other five actually six of them are more mid-range or high-end so the first one is the Kaya ultra light aqua gel sunscreen this is SPF of 25 and it's got a PA4 plus rating so it is a broad spectrum sunscreen what I really like about this is that it's got a gel kind of formula it spreads very easily on the skin it does not make you oily in fact it's specially formulated for oily and acne prone skin and overall just something that feels light on the skin that's going to give you a little bit of hydration and it's not going to feel like a uh, white mask. The finish is somewhat like a satiny finish. I won't call it exactly matte or dewy. So it's something that's going to work for all skin types. And secondly, um, this doesn't have any fragrance. So again, if you've got sensitive skin, you want to be very mindful that you don't use products which have got fragrance because fragrance is the most common irritant. So fragrance free, uh, lightweight broad spectrum uh, this ticks all the boxes for me now the second one I have here is the La Shield sunscreen gel and this is SPF 40 and PA triple plus this is oil free this is something that a lot of dermatologists recommend uh, it feels light on the skin it doesn't leave you any kind of white cast um, I also find it's got a bit of a slippery silicone kind of texture so it doubles up really well as a primer so if you want to blend concealer or foundation over this it blends really easily this again is a broad spectrum like i mentioned in the beginning this is water resistant and it doesn't have any alcohol this is going to work for all skin types it's not particularly matte it's not particularly dewy or too hydrating so it's something that's just going to work for everyone the next one is by the brand Requill, and this is something that I had reviewed on my channel sometime around 2019. That was the time it was kind of new in the Indian market. So this is the Ultra Matte Dry Touch Sunscreen Gel. Uh, this feels 
exactly like a primer and it actually call it like perfect under makeup base and this has SPF of 50 with a PA4 plus rating so it is a broad spectrum sunscreen um, I like kind of like the simple fuss free packaging I really like the consistency it just um, blends really easily no white cast and because it leaves a slightly um, slippery kind of finish exactly like a primer it works well under makeup this doesn't have any fragrance it's dermatologically tested and um, it's a nice brand this is something you can find even at the chemist not just online now one of the sunscreens that are new to me that I've recently been trying out is the Epi Soft Moisturizer with Micro Encapsulated Sunscreen. This is SPF of 30 and it has got a PA4 plus rating. This is non-gometogenic, it's really lightweight, paraben free and it's quite affordable. It's something you can buy again at a medical store. I love the consistency of this because it feels like a moisturizer it feels like a light lotion and it just just spreads and blends so beautifully into the skin so um, you can skip a moisturizer usually it's not something I recommend but with this one I can say you can skip a moisturizer because this does double up as a moisturizer number five is the Cheryl's Cosmeceuticals Derma Shade. I have talked about this in uh, in some of my Instagram stories. So this is a spray format. So I don't. I wouldn't say you know a spray format is better or worse. It's really a personal preference. Uh, it does make it a bit easier to use, especially if you want to use hard to reach areas like your neck or something. Um, this has a really watery kind of consistency. I find that quite nice because it it just blends very easily and. It does have a mild fragrance um, which doesn't irritate my skin because I don't have a lot of sensitivity but in case you have skin that's very very sensitive you might want to be just be mindful of the fact that this does have a bit of fragrance. Coming to the ratings, this is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Oh, it's an SPF 30 and it's got UVA protection as well. So it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. In fact, every sunscreen that I'm going to talk about today is going to be a broad spectrum sunscreen. So you don't need to worry about that. So this is nice. It's also got some extracts like tomato fruit extract, pomegranate, vitamin C. So it's not just something that is going to give you protection, but it's going to actively work in giving you a clearer complexion. So that is the Cheryl's Cosmeceuticals one. Let's move on to some of the sunscreens which are a little more mid-range or high-end. So the first one here is the YBP Sun Salve and this has SPF of 25. It's a purely mineral sunscreen that means it uses zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. It doesn't have any of the chemical UV filters. Now there's a lot of debate about whether chemical filters are bad for you or good for you. I personally believe they are good for you. They're not going to harm your skin, but there are people who are sensitive to um, chemical UV filters and they need to use a purely physical sunscreen, which is a mineral sunscreen. Uh, one of the downsides of mineral sunscreen can be that because it's using purely barrier physical protection, it might have a little more of a white cast. Now this I really liked when my skin was particularly dry because it's quite creamy, it's a bit thick, um, it works nicely in nourishing your skin. This is not something I would recommend for oily skin. I think some of the earlier ones which I've mentioned like the Kaya, the La Shield, the Requil, those are better for oily skin but this one is definitely more suited for someone with normal to dry or sort of dry combination skin. This has some antioxidants like jojoba oil, carrot extract and this uses 100% non-nano zinc oxide. Um, 
there is a bit of a white cast from this because this is a mineral sunscreen but like i said if you're someone who can't use um, the other type and you can only use a mineral one this is an option you might want to try the next one which is one that i use quite a lot is the forest essentials sun fluid the reason i like this is that it's got this runny watery lotion kind of consistency it feels very light on the skin but at the same time i find it quite hydrating it leaves a slightly dewy finish without being oily this has tender coconut water with turmeric and basil leaf this is spf 50 and pa double plus um for me uh, it, I mean it's forest essentials so of course they've got a really nice ingredient list with lots of uh, plant extracts but to me the reason I love it so much is really the consistency and like I'm repeating myself over and over but with this sunscreen it's very important you find something which feels nice to use because if it doesn't feel nice to use you're not going to use it so this feels really nice for me on my skin the reason I like using this so much like I said is because my skin is combination or dry combination in the winters here in the UK and this just feels nice and hydrating but I wouldn't recommend it for really oily skin because it doesn't have like a mattifying effect at all. Super Goop is a brand that is very well known for their sunscreens. I picked this up from Cult Beauty I think last year. This is called the Unseen Sunscreen. This is water resistant. It's got uh, SPF of 30. Funnily enough, it doesn't say the PA rating, but this is colorless, no fragrance, clear sunscreen velvety formula it just works so well under makeup and it's probably one of the nicest sunscreens i've used because it just doesn't really feel like you're putting anything because it's colorless it is there's no scent it's very light on the skin and uh, it doubles up as a makeup primer if you have access to super goop you could try this out i would say this is something that's going to work for pretty much all skin types it's not particularly too hydrating or too matte it's just got this gel sort of uh, consistency which i think is just going to work for everyone i really love the french pharmacy brands when it comes to sunscreens they are really good for people with sensitive skin especially so i'm looking at brands like aven vichy la roche posay and la roche posay particularly is quite famous for their sunscreen so i've used the anthelios fluid quite a lot in the past this is actually the spray now when it comes to spray on sunscreens i think these are better for topping up rather than using it as your primary protection layer so this is something that i would carry with me when i'm outside and i'm going to be outside for a long time in the sun but because mists don't give you a very thick layer they're not as effective in protection so use one of the other sunscreens which you can put a nice thick layer of and this can be used as a top up uh, but just because there's not a lot of mist sunscreens in the market i thought i would include it in this video uh, it has a pretty good protection profile it's spf of 50 and um, it also has uva protection the next one i have is really nice for anyone with very dry skin or anyone with aging mature skin and that's the murad age balancing moisture this is spf of 30 pa triple plus it's like a cream so like i said mature skin very dry skin um, it's going to feel just really nice it's not going to dry out your skin it's going to give you a nice um, nourishing feel and when my skin is feeling quite dry um, I reach out for this one and sometimes when I'm in a hurry and I want to skip my moisturizer again I use this one because um, it's got such a nice nourishing uh, feel to the skin it 
like they describe it as rich yet fast absorbing and I would agree with that description. Uh, it also protects dry skin. It also helps in improving the elasticity of the skin. So definitely one for mature skin. Uh, the one by Murad. Murad is available in India on Nykaa in case you didn't know that. When I sat down to shoot this video, I was going to cover 10 sunscreens. During the beginning of the video, as I was shooting, I remembered, oh, I have one more sunscreen. And just a minute ago, I realized I've got another one that I want to mention. So in total, this video is covering 12 sunscreens now. Uh, so number 11 is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Lotion. I love this because it's got that watery kind of consistency similar to the Forest Essential ones, which I love for my combination skin. Uh, also, this is um, really good for not just uh, giving you protection against the sun but also against outdoor pollutants. It's SPF of 50 plus and PA4 plus. I used to love using this a few years back and then they discontinued it and now it's back with a new improved formula. I think this also comes in a mist form similar to the Cheryl's one uh, but I haven't tried that but this I absolutely love. I also like the very sleek and simple packaging. It's quite nice to carry this compared to something which is like a big round heavy bottle. It's quite a nice compact tube. Um, this is going to work for pretty much everyone. If you have really oily skin you might not want to go with this and choose one of the more mattifying sunscreens but um, I do love the protection and the consistency of this for my skin. Another one which is really nice if you want to hydrate and protect in one step and that's the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. This is broad spectrum SPF 50, contains antioxidants and soothing plant extracts. I am a huge fan of Paula's Choice. There's so many products from their lineup which have worked so well for my skin. Um, this is really good for normal skin, oily skin, combination skin. It's basically again that light kind of lotion but now you understand I love that kind of texture which is um, what I describe as like a lotion. Slightly runny um, looks white but once you blend it into the skin it's not really going to leave you like a ghostly white cast. I also like the sort of botanical mild scent this has. Uh, Polar Strike products are always uh, really good because they don't just do the primary function. There's a lot of secondary things they do so even though this is a sunscreen this also hydrates, it's got antioxidants and it also helps in um, fighting signs of aging. So overall a really good one if you've got skin that's a bit damaged um, try this one because it not just protects the skin it also hydrates and repairs the skin aside from these there are two more sunscreens I want to talk about the first one is by Dr. Shetz I really like it I've used I think about three bottles of it in the last couple of years it's not too lotiony it's not too dry it's just such a nice in-between consistency that's going to work for pretty much everyone doesn't leave you with a sticky feeling or with a white cast so um, it's just something that is good to use feels nice to use and um, it's not too expensive either so definitely recommend that and another one which is probably my oldest favorite like my first memory of sunscreen is using the lotus herbals spf 40 matte uh, that's really good for anyone who's got um, a very oily skin because it's a matte finish. It's also not a white tinted sunscreen. It's got a bit of like a sandalwood tint. So it's not going to leave you with any kind of whitish finish on the skin. If you have a deeper skin tone, you can go for that because of the sandalwood tint. It just um, looks a lot better, the finished product compared to other mineral sunscreens, which have more of like a white cast and they also have an SPF 50 matte gel 
uh, within the Lotus Herbals um, sun care range which is really good again for oily skin so I don't have them with me here but I've used them in the past and I've really really enjoyed using them another brand that is uh, very common people love it is the Neutrogena um, sunscreens and for me I have used them in the past but um, I feel like they are just a bit too heavy for my skin uh, a lot of people with dry skin really like it but for me I've started I've discovered formulas which are a bit more light on the skin so I don't really I'm not gonna repurchase the Neutrogena one I think um, because I have these other few sunscreens which I like using more but it's not to say it's not a good sunscreen it is something that's going to give you good protection so in case you want to try the Neutrogena one you can go for it but I would recommend if you have dry skin it's going to be better for you rather than for oily skin they also have a sheer zinc one which is more of the yellowish packaging and that's a purely mineral one again for someone who um, can't wear chemical filter sunscreens you can go for that so that's pretty much it for my sunscreen video I think I've talked about 14 15 sunscreens I hope this was helpful for you and I hope this helps you make a good choice pick the right sunscreen for yourself because it's very very important to protect your skin like I mentioned there are two components you've got the UVA and the UVB the B component is what we see the burning the tanning the A is sort of like the long-term uh, you know invisible damage and that's uh, the aging it causes your collagen to break down so even when you are indoors if um, there is light coming in from a window you still need to wear sunscreen so please be good with wearing your sunscreen you're gonna see a lot of change in your skin once you start wearing sunscreen regularly especially as you get older you're going to avoid a lot of damage that comes from sun exposure so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon in my next one bye